Hello, welcome to the John Reynolds YouTube channel. Hello, welcome to the John Reynolds WooTube channel. WooTube? There's no WooTube. On today's one hour episode, I will show you how to change the oil in your car using only this tool. What? We didn't come here to see that. <laughs> Careless welder burns down entire town. About a year ago, I learned a lesson on fire safety the hard way. I live on a two and a half acre lot in a small rural town in the deserty part of Southern California, where we share the land with the original owners, the coyotes. But since we have cats, I try to keep the coyotes off the property with a tall fence. Anyway, I witnessed one of the scrawny coyotes was slipping through the four inch gate slats. So to remedy the situation, I decided to add perforated steel sheet to the lower half of the gate. Easy to do, looks clean, and keeps the cat murderers out. All I had to do was cut it to shape and weld it on. I used a tiny flux core MIG welder and, oh yeah, the power was out that day, so I used a generator to power the welder. The welds looked awful, but I figured a little grinding and a thick coat of black paint would make it acceptable especially if you stood back 20 feet and had been drinking. Near the end of the project, I welded a long section and then lifted my helmet to check progress. I turned my head to the side and noticed a small grass fire had been started. Not a big deal, but it was too big to stomp out with my foot. Of course, I didn't have a water hose or a fire extinguisher or even a bucket of water nearby. So I decided to run back to the nearest water spigot, about 175 feet away, and fill up a five gallon bucket of water. Once at the spigot, I started to fill up the bucket but noticed the water was coming out slower than usual. Yeah, the power was off, and I'm on a well, so no transfer pump. I got about four gallons into the bucket and turned to head back to the small fire. To my horror, the small fire was now raging 20 feet in the air, billowing thick black smoke. I raced back to the fire with a bucket of water faster than I've ever run in my life. Going through my head was the headline, Careless Welder Burns Down Entire Town. Luckily, the first bucket of water knocked down the fire enough that subsequent buckets had it out. My chest hurt for two days from overexertion. The burn spot remains as a reminder not to be a dumbass. Cool story, bro. But that's not why I clicked on this video. So what, an LS weighs what, 500 pounds? And the transmission probably weighs 250 pounds. So, well, that's 900 pounds right there. It doesn't look like you know what you're doing. Doesn't sound like you gave any thought to dynamic and static roll center, instant center, moment of inertia, jacking force, and weight transfer. You may want to look up what yaw is because this thing's gonna have tons of yaw. Yaw, 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 yaw.
so to weld the inside, um, there's a it leaves carbon. So I found that if you just B blast this area right here, it leaves a better leaves a better weld. When you can try to weld things like this right in position, so um, it stays in position. So I bolted it right to the transmission and and welded it. Very little heat's getting to the transmission. So how I'm going to make this mount? It's going to tie go from here to here to here. Connect those three. So it's going to be made up in two parts. This is inch and three quarter OD. This is inch and a quarter. So the first thing I want to do is get this dimension and just make the first part here and then the second part here. So we have that fit. Now we'll make one from here to here. Join these two together with tape. So the first thing you do on these kinds of deals is you, you make all your A to B connections. And you worry about the shape of what you're doing later, but. We'll give that shape a try. Looks like the right one. Strange, it looks familiar. Hmm, some like that. It's like a little palm router for steel. So it does a pretty nice job. I got it from Amazon, it's about 85 bucks. Well, you made it to the end. Make sure you send a letter to YouTube and tell them you'd like to subscribe to the John Reynolds Woo Tube YouTube channel. That's all there is? What about the turbo, man?